guys welcome back all right we're gonna be running another day of auto or car mechanic simulator 2021 now there's older version of this games i know right they have a lot more options going on i'm hoping as this game progresses they're gonna uh, put in some more stuff all right we'll see bobby thanks for that like greatly appreciate man um welcome to the stream brother welcome to the stream um it's nice to be back on facebook because I, I can actually stream at the settings that i want all right and what i mean by that is at 1080p which granted i am using uh two 3440 by 1440 monitors but at 1080 i can stream up to 10,000 bits right on both facebook and youtube youtube will actually let you go up to 51,000 bits for 4k you can stream 4k on youtube you can't do that on facebook um but twitch is capped at six so Pretty bad, but it's neither here nor there. I sent you a link to the thing I want to check out. The veteran two on here. All right, man, I'll check that out here in a little bit. I'm doing all right. Had a long day of driving once again. Long day of driving. Somebody likes seeing family members. Oh, God forbid. And unluckily for us, all the family members live like <laughs> an hour away. So that's pretty shitty. But yeah, so yes, last night, for whatever reason, my stream is getting cut. Like I haven't, I didn't cut my stream last night at like 1230. It just up and stopped. And I don't know why. My guess is one of the plat one of the uh, pages that I shared my game or shared my stream to 
Uh, I know Facebook's got some pretty. Why is this optimized so low? Hang point. I know this. I know Facebook's got some pretty like hefty. Um. Point. I'm trying to think of the word that I'm looking for here. They've got some pretty pretty strong uh, like sharing policies, right? They're really looking for bots and to ensure that nobody's oversharing their stream, I guess, for lack of a better term. Anyway, if you send your stream to a page and the page doesn't like it, right for whatever reason whatever the reasons may be maybe something in my description was they didn't like uh for self-promotion or uh because i'm sponsored or what i mean i've i've seen pages out there that don't want you sharing streams if you're sponsored they don't want you doing this they don't want you doing that so i may have shared my stream to a couple of locations that they aren't appreciative of something and i know if they report it facebook will kick it um I've had that happen before and normally what I do is I just don't share my stream to those locations. So like today I didn't share my stream anywhere but my personal page. Um, so if you guys can share the stream, right? Because I wasn't able to pre-share like I normally do, at least share it to three locations. Um, it seems to be the max locations that I can share it to before Facebook has a fucking problem. Um, so unless they've changed the rules and regulations again, uh, we'll just leave it, I guess, as is. I'm checking my NVIDIA drivers right now because there's no reason that that game should be under-optimized the way that it is. Now, a lot of people don't like GeForce Experience. I don't necessarily have a problem with it, um, but that's, that's what we're waiting on. So, Sarah, like, what it did to me, did you tell her what it did? I'm not sure uh, what you're referring to, Bobby. I know Facebook's finicky when it comes to sharing or just streaming in general. So trying to find what it is, because if you go into your uh, dashboard when you're streaming, it'll just tell you that something kicked it. It's not going to tell you why it was kicked. It's not going to say that it cut your stream because you were reported or because you overshared or this, that, and the other, right? Now, granted, I haven't shared on, I haven't streamed on Facebook for almost a month. Last night was my first stream on Facebook in a long time. Um, Oh yeah, Sarah. Bobby got flagged for saying hello in somebody's stream. So yeah, it's probably along the same lines, Bobby. Is I shared it to, and I, I put, I think, I think I still have the disclaimer in my description. I don't know. Um, I had a pretty good grasp on the share policy when it comes to Facebook. Thanks for that share, by the way. That. If you share your stream, like you really need to be paying attention. If you accidentally share, let's say you're a part of a Sea of Thieves only uh, page on Facebook and you're playing, uh, you know, New World and you share your stream to that page. First off, does that page allow for live streams? Um, I know Facebook's hammered down a lot on these follow for follow pages i don't share my stream to follow for follow pages i don't do follow for follow i think it's uh i don't necessarily have an opinion about it but it doesn't necessarily make you look good either right so all the followers that i have you know i ran ads on facebook and i stopped running ads now that i've kind of seen the light on the ad system in facebook it's not terrible and it got me followers um but those followers didn't always transcribe to viewers, all right? And that's kind of where the money meets the road with Facebook with Facebook streaming. You need you need viewers. Having a high follow count is great, uh, but you can have let's say like about thirteen hundred followers. Let's say you had like eight hundred followers, right? I'm at thirteen hundred. I might average three views, just as an example. Let's say you've got like 800 followers or 600 followers and you're averaging 13 to 25 people, right? You automatically look better than I do, even though I have more followers than you. So take that for what it is, right? But viewers are where the money meets the road. Um, a lot of people don't stick around if they see that they're the only person in the stream. Uh, the more people you have in the stream, the more engaged the chat can become. Uh, the better chances you are of having, or at least keeping, the viewers that you have in. I have a page on, uh, um, 
I have a page on Twitter. I do. I my problem is <laughs> my problem is is I don't I don't keep up with it. I don't pay attention to my Twitter. I, I've got a TikTok that I, I I need to make another video for. I haven't made a video for TikTok for like um, like three months. Like it's been a while since I've made another video on TikTok. So I need to put a video out on TikTok. I need to pay attention to Twitter, and I don't. I need to sit down in front of this computer and go through my YouTube, go through my Twitter, go through my TikTok. I don't use Snapchat and go through my Instagram. Um, I do have one of those, but it's another one of those platforms that I have and I've posted to it before, but I haven't posted. It's just not a, an important platform to me, but a lot of keep, people keep saying you need to go on. The, you need to go on to Twitter. You need to go on to Twitter. You'll get promoted quickly. So I'm going to go with this is go to settings. I don't think there's any. Uh, it's monitoring. That's not it. I don't know why it's taking so long to get this fucking over here. No. no. There it is. All of that sounds great until you said recording. No, it's still. It's still scanned up high. I don't know why it's. I don't know why it's being fucking weird. Like, there's no reason why that game should be downscaled so far. Yeah, I mean, it is. I'll agree with you. Um, I'm kind of skeptical about Instagram. I don't I don't use Instagram. I just don't know enough about it, to be honest with you. I know Twitter. Twitter is basically Facebook with less restrictions. Um, but I don't have a following on Twitter, right? Like my followings on Facebook. So that's basically where I use all my, I do all my networkings on Facebook. Cause I've only got like 20 followers on, on Twitter. It only shows me one share, um, Bobby. That was one of the things that I let, like if you overshare and not that sharing is a bad thing, it, at least it shouldn't be, but Facebook will literally put you in Facebook jail for sharing too much. I had a friend of mine, she shared, um, like 10 times. And she was put in Facebook jail for those 10 shares. Like she wasn't allowed to share anything for 30 days. So that's what I meant by like Facebook's really fucking fucked when it comes to. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and launch this while that's doing whatever that what it's doing. I don't know what it's doing, but we're going to go ahead and launch. What's my Twitter? What is my Twitter? Let's take a look. Uh, you should be. It's Mr. Mother Goose Gaming. It's the same thing as my as my Facebook. I have 37 followers on Twitter. Now I do have it set up to where my Twitter will automatically get posted with a comment when I go live or with a tweet or whatever you want to call it. Jamie, thanks for that like. Greatly appreciated. Not Clum. My brother. Brother? No. What? So good to see you. Did I not turn on my volume? <laughs> I didn't. Probably turned my, my audio volume, my, my, my game volume on. Hmm. All right, so yesterday, yesterday I found a Lamborghini Countach. I spent, now the flip, granted I flipped it after my, um, my stream crashed. Like I said, I don't know why it went down, but it just did. Um, but I, I, I flipped a, a Lamborghini Countach last night and cost me a hundred and a hundred a hundred thousand dollars basically a little over a hundred thousand dollars to buy this car i ended up flipping it and earned an additional 86 from the flip so i'm questioning if flipping these supercars is in particularly worth it because i definitely went to a junkyard and flipped a car for this is a mission car this is a storyline car i don't necessarily have a deadline on it it's just here for now we're gonna go to a junkyard 
You know what? Let's go back to the car auction. See what we can get. Message me if you want. I'll message you here in a little bit, uh, Bobby. I don't. I try not to. I try not to play with my phone while I'm on stream. Boom, the car I have been looking for, the Dodge Viper look-alike. So we have to act on this car. We have to. We have to. So we're gonna go for a bid here. Now, I don't know if the bidding is like. Because this game does have like preset, I would assume preset automated. Yeah, so it's basically like a, it's it's kind of like a Vi Dodge Viper look like. Front ends are not nearly as pointed. Um, it's kind of got the look of uh, like a Ferrari 430-ish look to it. What the hell is dancing underneath my chair? Something was. Not sure what it was. There's the Ferrari GTO. Yep. Ferrari made a GTO a long time ago. Let's see what it does. Mm, starting to look kind of, it's looking good so far. Oh my. Stop. Stop going up. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have the money to pay for it, so it's not the end of the world here, but I'm kind of hoping that it's cheaper than the Lamborghini Countach was. Son of a bitch. Thousand. Boom. Eighty-eight grand. Started at seventeen three sixty-two. Oh, Jesus Christ! You started it today. I'm assuming you like it if you've been binge watching it all day. So let's flip this car and let's see if we're gonna sell it. We're kind of in a position to where I don't need to. 274,000. So we're sitting on a pretty penny right now. I'm in a position to where I don't need to sell the car, but I can. Is that a V10 or a V8? If it's a V8, which it, or a V10, which it should be. It's not, it's a V8. Uh, inventory. Nope, nope, nope. We want car status. V8 dual have a cam AK or AXK. All right. Well, I was kind of hoping for a V10. Um, that would have been more true to the actual Viper itself, but that's okay. First and foremost, let's get this over to, let's get this in a bay. Start it in the bay. It's obviously clean. It doesn't need to be washed. Um, what body parts? Aftermarket body parts. Okay, so front end does this thing have? All right, so it already has the aftermarket hood and shit on it. But obviously, the engine is not aftermarket. This is a very stock V8, so we're gonna change that. I wonder. Can it be supercharged? Can it be supercharged? It looks like it should be able to be supercharged. But this game doesn't offer superchargers for all the V8s. So we'll have to see if I have a couple extra superchargers lying around that I can throw on it and see if it'll work. 
All right, so let's see. Which one does it have on there right now? Kind of looks like the only thing that's aftermarket about this car is the fucking hood. Everything else looks to be like it's the stock configuration, which is fine. Um, but we have the ability to repair some of these parts, so let's go ahead and take them all out. The glass is going to have to be replaced because I can't, I don't know if I can repair the glass. But we're going to start with body first, like I always do. Get the body fixed. And then we will deal with everything else. I'll do suspension. I'll get the engine pulled, then I'll do suspension. Right, this is going to take out a lot of those cracks you see in the paint. The scratches. Alright, so that repairs the body. So let's go see what we can repair. I'm sure we can repair every bit of it, but if there's aftermarket shit that I can put on it, I want to do that. All right, so I, I thought I was level six. Am I not level six? No, I'm not in five. Okay, so that's body parts. All right, well, let's just replace then. So let's go with that. Well, we're going to have to buy it anyway. How many different headlight sets do we have? Two separate headlight sets. I'm going to go with these. I think they're going to look better, obviously. Um, we'll go with the dark dot, or the blacked out taillights. Huh? Oh, yeah. No, I have you muted. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Oh. Okay, well, I've already, already done it. All right, let's get the stock parts that can't be aftermarketed. Doors, windows, fenders, door, window, fender. Does it have the, okay, it doesn't have the aftermarket hood. I don't know if I bought the after, oh, I did, I must have, because we can't replace it. Mirror, mirror, trunk, glass, glass, glass. So, okay, maybe it didn't have the aftermarket kit on it. So let's see what the aftermarket kit looks like on it then. Oh yeah, that's much that's much better. Definitely more aggressive. I've Dodge Viper has always been my favorite car. If I could get any car, it'd be a Dodge Viper. Oh, I never took the fucking old tail lights out. So we'll have the ability to fix these parts eventually, and I hope to one day have the ability to get this car again, to flip. So at the very least, we'll be able to... Um, at least have the other parts if I wanted to do with just a stock replacement. We're gonna have to put some more aggressive rims. Let's go do that real quick. Really? Really, Bobby? Well, that's irritating. All right, well, apparently none of the posts, uh, I had thought I had uh, Streamlabs set up to automatically post to my Twitter. Apparently it hasn't posted since September. So I will need to <laughs> fix that. All right, so for those who know, you know. 
All right, so this is the same rear end as that super that I did. The um, unfortunately, there's no aftermarket suspension parts in this game. As close as far as you're gonna get with suspension upgrades, aftermarket wise, is gonna be the discs, the brake discs. Um, none of the engine components, other than the engine itself, will have aftermarket upgrades for increased torque and power. Um, that includes the ECU. Uh, the entire suspension all the way up to the training the training I can get an aftermarket training uh, aftermarket fuel fuel pump for the for the tank in the back uh, but suspension wise everything in here will just basically we're gonna refurbish um, there's no reason to spend money on a brand new one when I can make all of it 100% again so but first we had to do aesthetics because uh... yeah well we just need to do aesthetics so separate these tires. There's not much I can do about the post now because I, I can't be live and update this, the stream settings, unfortunately. So it's just going to have to wait until later. So these are 20s. I think we could get away with 21s. I don't think we're going to get away with 22s. I think 22 is going to be pushing it. All right, so we want something black or dark, something sporty. This would help if I had determined exactly what fucking color of the car I wanted. I think I'm just going to do black. So why don't we do these? We'll do these in 20s. I think there's 20s right now. That's what I have on there. We'll go to 21. We'll go ahead and do four. So for tires, what tire do we have on here? Sports tire. We're going to do race tire. Made it red. It would match the red wall on this. We'll do that. So what size tire is this? 20, 295 30 R20. 295 30. 295, 30, 30, and we need four. All right, and then we'll just paint it red, which is fine. Because we can't have red wall tires and it not look red. So let's go ahead and take this to paint real quick before it drives me nuts. All right, so red, we want it light. Yeah, we'll go with light red. You know what, let's put the tires on it. Just <laughs> before I, let's see if we can get the, at least get it to match. Why is my screen flickering right now? Like, my fucking GPU doing an update right now? Was that just a glitch in the? So I think I could could have gone gotten away with that red tire or that red. I wish it was just black or white wall that that that's kind of irritating. That's got a red stripe. I thought I did have. See, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna do all that, Bobby. I'll I'll sit down in front of the computer tomorrow. I already told Sarah I'm gonna sit down. I have to do some uh, video editing for one of my videos. Or YouTube that I've been stalling on for like six months because I'm terrible. And it's not even a video, it's an intro for MMOs. So I'll sit down in front of it and, and hammer out um, what I need to hammer out for, for Twitter. Because it needs to get revamped anyway. There's, I have since then purchased uh, 
Rain, appreciate that like, man. Greatly appreciate Sarah. Thanks for that like. Um, I've obviously bought, like, I have a theme going now with the Warzone skin for my overlay and my computer backgrounds and this, that, and the other. So I just need to go and update that whole fucking page. All right, let's get these mounted. Get a look at what these are gonna look like. Hopefully, I didn't make them too big. Oh no, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. It's gonna look sexy when I get the red in there. Anybody know? I actually don't. I think you can get it by uh, collecting herbs, maybe. Herbs? I th don't quote me. All right, now let's get this over to paint. Move car. I think we can get away with, yeah. Want to do a standard gloss, solid, metallic, yeah. pearl, that, yeah, no, chrome. Yeah. I think chrome might be a little much. No, no, don't like it at all. So let's just go with a standard gloss paint because I think that's gonna look I think that'll look best. Uh, no, no, let's go. We'll go with metallic. That looks better. Oh, I appreciate it, Bobby. Like I said, I'll go. Man, I. It's just me. <laughs> and I'm. We got a kid and everything going on in life right now. So it's. It's rough. Um, <laughs> I've been slacking, to, needless to say, on all my social media accounts. All right, we need to pull, we need to dump the engine oil. We need to pull the transmission and then we can pull the block. I don't think this has an aftermarket tranny. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't have the red cover. All right, so let's go move that over there. Car left A, use equipment. I'm curious to know if I can put a supercharger on this thing. I'm not 100% sure if I can, uh, but if I can, I will say that right now. If I can put a supercharger on it, it's getting supercharged. Now, luckily for us, every single one of these parts can be repaired and reused, except for bushings, brake pads, and things of that nature. Obviously, your your standard replacement parts, right? Um, oh, I'll take the fucking starter off. But we're not gonna be using a lot of the engine replacement parts. So this tranny like is about to get replaced with an aftermarket transmission. Corey, come on to that like. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciated. So we want a aftermarket transmission. And then we need to go ahead and put all of this shit in storage. Like all of it. Because most of this, except for like the ignition coils and spark plugs, can be reused in another V8. And I did this, or a V12. And that was from the Lamborghini Countach. So if I get another V12 and I'm trying to do a stock rebuild on it, I at least have stock parts. And because I don't like going into a... Um, I don't like building a new car with old parts. We need to get rid of all of these old parts. 
like I said, I can repair 90% of everything in here except for uh, your typical expendable parts. So, and I can salvage a lot of these too and turn in and, and upgrade the, the parts that I'm actually putting into it, which I've never tried to do before, but all right, there it is pulled. Now, what we can do is replace the exhaust at the same time with aftermarket exhaust, but we'll do that in a little bit. Let's get this block done first. All right, so the block's in basically good condition. I mean, I could turn around and sell this car probably as is and still make a decent profit off of it. But I don't think I'm gonna be selling this car. And I still have to work on this this story car too. What's the, what's the dealio on this? Story order, repair, replace body parts. Change oil spray in the factory color, other tasks. Um, so let's, we're obviously gonna have to do, I'm kind of hoping that I can, go ahead and do this. I don't think I'm gonna need to do this for this car, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. Because uh, if we're gonna be doing body modifications then I want the whole thing to look good or else I'm not going to send it out. I have high expectations. It's kind of weird to have a Dodge Viper sitting next to a Geo fucking Metro. Just congratulations, brother. LOL. I just posted your link and asked my followers to follow you on there and here if they will. Does it say I only have three followers? <laughs> I do. I only have three. That shows you how much I pay attention to that platform, dude. It's terrible. I am terrible when it comes to that platform. Yeah. I don't use Twitter. Like, when I say I don't use Twitter, like, I wasn't lying. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get what we need to get first off the rip. All right. So this is going to be aftermarket. That's going to be aftermarket. That's going to be aftermarket. Those are aftermarket. Um, the heads are aftermarket. Exhaust manifolds are aftermarket. I don't think these are two two separate manifolds, right? Manifold V8. Manifold V8. All right, those are the same. The internals will be aftermarket. Uh, aftermarket this. Aftermarket this. I need to get the plate out from underneath that, and that's aftermarket. Ah, oh, look, I fucked up. All right. That's aftermarket. That's aftermarket. The big question is, is can I put a supercharger on this, this engine block? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look here and see. Just in case, let's pick that up. Um... Supercharger big intake right there. So, will it mount? No. I don't think it will. That kind of is irritating. Right, I have it in my inventory, right? Yeah, there it is. I don't know why it won't mount, but it won't. Maybe the head covers? I don't think so. Oh, hold on, let me. I'm curious right now. Do I have a back door here? I do have a door here.
if this does what I think it's going to do. Now that would be easy. Now I can get some shit. That's my fault. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, and you have to use your XP for it too. No, is that scrap? That has to be scrap, right? Yeah, scrap. Right? It's not XP? No! Okay, it is scrap. Huh, okay. Alright. Well. Shit, maybe I'll do that for all the engine block upgrades. Just to see if it'll if it'll work. But for now, let's continue tear down. That's not gonna be aftermarket. These are aftermarket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? That fast? I'm following I'm only following 37 because like I said I I started the page and that was it like I followed a couple of pages in the suggested page and I I didn't try following other streamers or other people or family members like I, di I didn't do anything I literally opened it set my stream labs to stream to it or to send a link to it with the intention that I was going to uh you know, go back and, and actually set up a follower list on my page, but I just, I just never did. I just never did. One, two, three, four. I didn't think, did I put the fucking, I don't think I did. I don't, oh, I'm gonna need two of these two. No, I think I already got those. Rise let me take that out before the fucking serpentine belt, but okay. Mike. Wonder if the police layout is you know, see it's just not letting me do put a supercharger on it. Which is fine, it's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to have a supercharger. Yeah, I never used a Twitter, man. It's it's not it's it's not anybody else's fault but my own. If I actually put forth the effort on Twitter that I did like trying to sleep. Cause I I just don't sleep at night. Like last night I only got a couple hours. Sure, if I actually got spark plugs. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are a mandatory replacement. We're not going to find. We can get aftermarket spark plugs, but we have to. We can't repair them.
I just know you can. Like, I've mounted a supercharger to this thing before. Like, how is this not working? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense, Bobby. I don't think you're here right now. We are going to need another one of those. I'm just curious of what this would look like if I actually optimized the game. So let's save real quick. Let's optimize real quick and just, just to see. Because the graphics are kind of sketch. Drivers should be up to date. They are. I think it turns off like all the good shit though. I don't know why it does that, but. Because that's optimal, so we'll see what that does. We'll see. Like, my God, that's terrible. I don't look good at all.
looks like my fast cat. Better. See what ultra settings look like. I'm walking. Time today. Oh, V Sync's on. That's part of the issue. I turn that off. Ocean Blur is stupid. Turn that off. Oh. Oh. Oh, me. I can see where the issue is. Back to medium. Get to repairing. Where the hell am I going? I can't do Tablet, 
auto tune gearbox. We actually need to go here for that. Steering pump, alternator, intake manifolds. Really? Intake manifolds? Okay. I have intake manifolds, rails. Yep. Engine heads. Exhaust manifolds. Much pressure plate. I will push plate a lot of body fuel filter mission coils amp shafts plugs filter Pistons. Cam gears. Jump. Auto pulley. Extra pulley. Protein. Whatever. Okay. Oil oh, filter. Rings. Cam gears. Atomic belts. Rollers, camshaft pulleys, ladder roller A, deep belt, power beat, water pump. All right. One of the best places. Isaac, coming to that like. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate it, man. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Swamp dog. What are you doing? He ate, baby. What is up, Isaac? We are running the V8 dual overhead cam, of course, out of the Dodge Viper. It's supposed to, I mean, it's a Dodge Viper lookalike. It's not actually called a Dodge Viper. Um, it's supposed to have the V10 in it, but I don't actually know if they have a V10 in this game. And I checked to see if there was an engine that I could swap out with it. Uh that'll fit in the engine compartment. Unfortunately, this is the only engine that is allowed in this car, so if I wanted to do an engine swap, I'm not even allowed to do that. I can only rebuild the one that it has. It won't take a supercharger either, which kind of sucks. heads on here aftermarket heads oh 
So what did the Supra end up with for horsepower yesterday? I was act okay, so this is gonna irritate the shit out of you. Um For whatever reason, first off, my stream cut out, so I apologize. We were like mid conversation with the fucking Supra. Um I dynoed it, came stock with two hundred and sixty five horses, and it only made four hundred and seventy horses out the door after all aftermarket upgrades could be applied. So definitely not what I was going for. However, it did, however, sell for $146,000. So, not bad. And right now, we're working on the Dodge Viper lookalike. And I'm doing the same thing I do with all the other cars. It gets as many aftermarket parts as I could cram into it. I tried doing a supercharger swap um, on this V8. Because for whatever reason, it's not a V10, first off. So there's the first error. It doesn't look exactly like a Viper, obviously, right? But, I mean, I put all the aftermarket hood parts or body parts on it. So it looks pretty slick. And I got the racing tires on it. Doing the engine right now. And then I still need to replace all the suspension parts, too. Or at least repair them. It should be the only thing I'm replacing for suspension. Rubber bushings. Brake pads and uh, discs. Everything else will get fixed. We pushed the rims up from 20 inches to 21 inches. I think that did just fine. Got barely enough clearance in there. Um, so yeah, I am curious to see what this engine will do. It came in stock with, what is it, 400 and 425? That's ours. Um, 403 so we'll see what the new fucking what the new one looks like and as you can see i don't have any other engine blocks i'm allowed to use in the car and i can see why they don't want a supercharger because when you close the hood there's like no room so i get it but that's what we're working on but yeah no the super was a complete disappointment i was and it, it looked good but it underperformed like a son of a bitch and then <laughs> after the stream got killed i ended up going to uh, the auction, and I picked up a Lamborghini Countach. And I flipped it and made an $86,000 profit off of it. I mean, shit. If I had the funds, I could fucking start flipping cars in real life. Oh, that's right, I sold that. Thinking I could put a supercharger on it. And they don't have an aftermarket in in intake manifold. Doesn't make does that make any damn sense? Get the engine assembly put together. Accessory and fucking gears. Almost near completion for this build, or at least for the engine block. I will be hard swapping out the, the exhaust too. Because I know there's aftermarket exhaust parts, but that's about it for aftermarket parts. Did you check out your game last night? Curious to know what, how that turned out. I don't know, not pick up that one either. Did you do what I did the first day I got this game and stay on it for hours? And regret your life decisions in the morning. Woo, woo, woo. Thought I miss you. I thought I bought you. Be 
fucking dark. I was up for way too long. Yeah. <laughs> See? Same thing I did. I ended up having like just rage shut the computer off because I knew I was going to be on all fucking night if I didn't. Now that I've got the shop started and I've got everything that I need. You know, I can, I've got, I've kind of got a good schedule going. I get a couple of cars flipped a day. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell this car. It'll, we'll see what it does on the dyno. We'll make it, that'll, that'll make my decision making. If I get like bougie numbers and it's not even worth my fucking time, then I'll probably ditch it. So right now, as it stands, the only car that has impressed me on the dyno was the Chrysler 300C lookalike. Came in with 758 horsepower, supercharged V8, and I was able to flip it completely and it made 1500 plus horsepower. If that's the fastest car in the game, I'm gonna go buy it again. I'm in a position though where I don't need to sell this car if I don't want to. All right, what else can I mount on this bad boy? Pretty sure I've got engine. Okay, this exhaust manifold. Did I get the throttle body? I did that. That should be it. Should be it. Amber Crow coming to that like. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Almost said, sir. I'm still fixing other people's trash to bank cash to start making builds. Coming with them. Thank you, Amber, for that beef. Greatly appreciated. I always love your beef. Yeah, that's what I had to do the first time, man, too. Appreciate that share, too, Amber. I had to, I literally worked like this one is a mission card, it's a story card, and it's it, I've got a Dodge Viper sitting next to a fucking Geo Metro, but that was exactly what I did. I did like five or six story missions and a couple of fucking whatever uh, whatever jobs. So I finally saved up about I think I had about fifty grand, and I could at least do an engine swap with aftermarket parts, right? And I just did everything else stock, um, and now I can do the full car aftermarket. So I do about three or four of those. The easiest way to do it, go to a junkyard, buy some piece of shit for five grand with 50000 in your bank, and you can easily turn around and, and flip that if it's the right car for sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000. I went out and picked up, a, I want to say it was a GTO lookalike, and then I flipped it for about 110000 All right. We've got our engine. And it's installed. All right, you go away. I don't need you anymore. Let's get this in the air. Get the transmission put on it. Why, 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 why? Oh, I need to put the pressure plate in. I don't know how to pick that up. I was forgetting something. Market gearbox. What? I sold my starter? Really? Feel stupid. I don't know why I would have done that. All right. Oh, that's right. I salvaged it to see how that worked. Next but not least, get rid of these fucking pipes. I don't think I can fix the fuel tank. Um, but I already know what I need to buy. At least for the fuel setup. 
So we need that, 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 that. One of those and one of those. Red muffler, I need two. Two rear mufflers. Two cats. Fronts. Fuel pump. Pretty sure I can't buy the tank here. Nope. Gotta go regular car parts. So theoretically, as it stands, we can take the car as is without doing the suspension work at all. And dyno it. Because the, the suspension parts shouldn't make a difference. But that'll be a good test to see if that's how that works. I know I'm missing some pipes here, so. Let's go do that. What? Drive shaft is gone. Well, I guess we'll see if there's an aftermarket drive shaft. I'm pretty sure there's not. Oh. Yeah. Eesh. Eesh. Speaking of which, this car is actually in halfway decent condition when I bought it, so. We do need to replace the air filter first, because you can buy an aftermarket air filter. Save me a lot of time on this car if I just didn't do the suspension and shit. If I'm gonna hold on to it, because everything's at least between 70 and 90 percent, so there's not really much of a reason to swap all that shit out. So let's see what this thing does in the dyno. Oh, you know what it didn't do? All right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Evil or decent. Everywhere. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. At least do the brakes. Pretty sure I already balanced everything, too. Yeah, like I said, it's a, it's the <laughs> the game was just released. I'm really hoping that they do with the, what they did with the other titles, and I'm sure they probably will. But um, add in those extra parts and those extra modifications and the extra brands. For now, I'm stuck with this. I could go to the 2020 uh, version and pick it up. Did I already balance all these tires? I did, okay. Least we can do is put fucking better brakes in it. But if I'm gonna keep it, there's no point in putting 
doing everything else. Okay, first foremost, uh, or discs. I need four of these. And we need the pads. Pads, four of those. Put in that single piston caliper because fuck aftermarket. Wish they had them. No, it's not where I wanted my mouse to go at all. It's all right. At least they don't pay attention to torque specs. And you know, I thought about actually picking up the 2020 version just because. Um, but I'm going to basically exhaust this one first before I go pick up the 2020. Fucked up that star pattern because I'm terrible. I haven't done this in fucking years. Seeing seventies on the calipers, we might need to just replace everything, but I don't want to. I mean there's no aftermarket parts for any of any of it. If there were, I would replace them. Like not even the rear end has an aftermarket part. You kidding me? Now let's see what it does on the dyno. We might need to go a lot, put it, put it through the alignment first though. So let's do that. We'll move this to alignment. Let's get this bad boy aligned. See what it does. Fucking perfect. Now obviously this does not increase horsepower, horsepower, but Nice sentimental thought, right? At least it's fucking aligned that way. All right, off to the dyno. Don't disappoint me. 403 factory. Let's see what it does now. Seven hundred and fifty nine horses. I'll fucking take it. Not bad for an unsupercharged, naturally aspirated. All right, so now let's go. Go to the racetrack, see what these sports tires do. Go to the racetrack, see what the sports tires do. Hopefully it'll fix the fucking... Oh, this is the... T oh, this is the test track. I need to get a controller when I'm driving. I don't want to fishtail the damn thing like it does the other cars. Ooh, these tires are so much better. Oh, still squirrely, still squirrely. I like the way that feels, Isaac. Rubber bushings, rubber bushings, rubber bushings, real hub, brakes under. Everything I can't fucking, well, tie rods. 
I bet you tend to want if I replace these parts, it maybe wouldn't be a little as squirrely as it is, but not, probably not by much. It felt good though. Felt good. Move car back to lift A. Now, how much would it sell for? 71 grand. Isaac, what do I do with it? Sell it or keep it? All right, what does this piece of shit need? Oh, well, immediately it said body work. So that's gotta go, that's gotta go, and that's gotta go. Are there any other fucking foobard body parts? It's not discovered, of course not. Front hood, yeah, okay. Do I have the ability to... Oh, no, I have to be tier 6. That's right. So I'm going to have to replace. Which ones? Did he want the fucking, what paint did he want done to it? Factory paint. Oh, hi then. Why is the car not popping up? There it goes. Okay. All right, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down, sir. Looks like I am doing the suspension on the car. Very well. E. That knocks those out. Obviously, the rims are going to need to get replaced. I'm sure that's on the dossier. Form wheel alignment and ca to calibrate them. Increase tuning of a car by 10 to 15 percent. Change power steering fluid. Change brake tuning. Increase tuning. I gotta do an engine block fucking re rebuild, don't I? Yeah, bad fuel filter. Drive shaft needs some love. Brake fluid's low. Antifreeze is overfilled. Or the air filter is fucked. Brake power steering is fucking foobard. Obviously, suspension needs to get done. Tank looks good, at least. Cranny looks good. Drive shaft is crap. Don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. All right. All right, let's see how many rubber bushings I've purchased over the fucking, over this game. Let me get rid of this shit first. I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up going through this and scrapping anything that I can't repair. And I'll use it for scrap metal. All right. Rubber bushings. Have I bought any ones that are good? Okay, so I've used all the good ones. I don't have any extra ones at all. All right, very well then. So it looks like we'll just buy fresh everything. Fresh everything that I can't repair. Uh, not gonna be able to repair either one of these. Just buy four just in case. I don't know if the rears have them. I don't think they do. They, well, yeah, they do because it's it's rear wheel drive. 
Sometimes they don't have them. But it should. Screw wheel drive. I don't think I'm going to be able to replace these. I never have in the past. Or these. Or that. Or that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Should be it. Let's see. I might need to buy one or two more, but that should cover all the rubber bushings. Or the big ones at least. Need to replace all the engine compartment stuff. the entire front end. Okay, it did have bushings, good. There's that many on there, but there might be. I don't think I'm gonna be able to replace the shocks or fix the shocks. So one, two. Never been able to fix those in the past. Or the rear sway bars gonna have to get replaced.
go through a shit ton of rubber bushings in 2020 version 2. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> One part that you can't fucking repair in the game for obvious reasons. It's supposed to be a replaceable part, but... God, they got rubber bushings fucking everywhere. I mean, I know they do in real cars, you know, in actual life, but... Oof. Exactly, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more. I'm on uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, and Sarah's on New World. Squid piss. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun actually. It's un, it's unneedingly addicting. I mean, it's not. 100% mechanically correct on a lot of things, but it's still fun. Uh, 20 bucks on Steam. Or, or like 20. Yeah, I was a mechanic for 10 years in the Marine Corps. I work on my own cars. Yep. Actually, I was working on tanks. <laughs> That's army. Uh, I mean, the Marines say that we do normally go for go in first, but it's O three eleven for infantry. No, well, Marines normally do. The President of the United States can deploy Marines ninety days without congressional approval. But the army needs congressional approval. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for like a more specific trade skill, the army's going to be the better way to go. Um, Marines are sort of the first in, last out. We do all the shitty jobs, and we're just the best branch. Now let's just let's just quit pussyfooting around. We're just awesome. No, the Army's a good guys. I've, I've worked with plenty of them that are awesome. Uh, well, I mean, we do, but it's like a sibling rivalry. Yeah, it's like a love-hate relationship. Like, if we're if we're out in town and, and some random civilian comes up and starts talking shit on the Army, then the Marines got the Army's back. Uh, but if we're in a bar and we're just shit, shooting the shit with each other, we're going to normally make fun of one another. Maybe get into a couple of fist fights. I had fun. It was a little... I'd have to so I, I they do have a tank mechanic simulator. I mean, I was I worked on the M one A ones, so I'd, I'd have to I'd be very uh, interested to see if they're how correct they are with the mechanical repairing of that vehicle. But I guarantee you they don't have it right. Uh, it would be it would be interesting, but I doubt it. There. Say again. What about it? Yeah, they've made a couple of training aids for that the Marines and and uh, other branches use on 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 these platforms. I mean, it's a good idea. It's a good way to get your training in. Uh, no. Wheel hub. None of this is aftermarket. Go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. Inner tie rods too. Inner tie rods too. This way. Those. Twenty four of these. Three hundred twelve dollars on fucking rubber bushings alone. Shit. 
shocks because those aren't repairable. Caps. Springs. Spring caps. Air sway. Grand link. Right. Something tells me I'm missing something that I should have put on this list, but it's okay. So fresh parts all around. I definitely didn't need four of those caps, but that's okay. <laughs> I saw you. I don't know. I never played League of Legends. It's not that I never, you know, played it. I just never played it, honestly. And it's the the trailers that I've seen just honestly haven't really intrigued me all that much. I'm one of those judge a book by a cover kind of dudes. That's exactly what happened. I'm sure it's a fun game. I just I've never never tried it. Is there no? Fun? I've heard. Uh, League of Legends and uh, Overwatch both are very frustrating games. Did I seriously just buy something that I didn't fucking need? Oh, I'm gonna be pissed if I did. I feel like I missed something. Like I bought these fucking shocks. Is it for the fr was it for the front end that those? No, those had coilovers. I thought. I seriously just buy suspension parts I didn't need. No way. It has. This thing has to have fucking. No, 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 no. Two and two is not equaling four right now. Where the fuck does these go? I'm missing something. Push in. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. I see where I fucked up. 
Glad I can put this shit in with the tire still installed. That's not supposed to be a thing. I knew I fucking forgot something. I was like, where, what the hell am I missing? Complicated ass rear end. This car must be a female. Yeah, what else would it be? It's complicated as shit and doesn't make any sense. It means you're complicated as shit and doesn't make any sense. Love you, babe. <laughs> So you're saying right now that you don't think women are complicated. Some. Oh no, they're it's even worse when they're pregnant. <laughs> We're just negative Nancy's. Look, man, when you've got like 17 different cravings and if you buy the wrong craving, you're sleeping on the couch, right? I would I would classify that as complicated. <laughs> God, like if she, she, I'd, I'd go to the store when she has a craving, and she's like, "I, I want this, this, and this." And if I couldn't find it, I had to give like a detailed after-action report as to why I couldn't find it. No, I'm talking about you. Yeah, yeah Sarah, my wife, she's right behind me. She's streaming on her her computer. Engineers are complicated. Engineers are complicated. You know what? You know another thing? Eng engineers are fucking stupid. Like, I've definitely taken apart, like, many of things in my life, right? And, and some of the parts that these engineers come up with, like, why do I have to take apart? Why do I have to pull the entire engine out in order to pull out, like, one rubber grommet? Why is that a thing? Why did you put the oil filter behind the shock absorber? All right, why did you put the oil filter right next to the fucking tire? Because that makes sense. Nissan, pointing you out, Nissan. Look, you know, right? you've never been mad until you've been, I've worked on a car that's really fucking stupid mad. I don't, I don't need rear spring, I need front spring. Front spring, there it is. Engineers are fucking irritating. Like, I remember working on a 98 Ford Mustang. And in order to get the brake calipers to decompress, you had to go buy this $60, like, square attachment for your fucking half-inch drive ratchet. And it was the only, only tool, you would, that's the only car in the world that needs that stupid tool, right? And then my aunt went off and sold the car like three months later so we had this stupid $60 part or tool that we never used again yeah. just remember an engineer will crawl over 400 virgins to fuck one mechanic <laughs> it's fucking true oh, who's naked <laughs> naked naked with no dick non-nipple long titty have an ass motherfucker okay I only bought two of those good
Did I put the tie rods in? Oh, okay. Thanks for the follow. Our Corey? Corey Nikolai? Corey Corey? I was about to say, he's just now following you. I would shit myself if this add horsepower. Like all of a sudden, replay or repairing all of these stock suspension parts pulls out like an additional. I'll, I'll even be happy if it pull, if it goes up a single digit. I would be impressed. See what had happened was is such your suspension was so squishy, you had added drag, which took away from your horsepower. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Oh, upper air control arm. That probably fucking would probably fucking be wise to install. All right. So the current horsepower rating is. 759. So if it goes higher than 759, then we'll have our answer. First things first, though. We need to replace engine engine compartment accessories. Go ahead and put this on the charger. So this is all gonna have to get, that's gotta get replaced. Replace, replace, cause they don't fucking. All right, that's not, that's, that is though. I think I can fix that, I'm not sure. Uh, we needed to fucking replace that too. Might be able to replace the radiator. That out of there. Gotta get these clips off. I think I can repair the intake housing. Be able to repair those. Now, all of this one, two, three. all that has to be replaced. None of it's repairable. Right? Serious? Yeah, <laughs> I've definitely done that before. I definitely pulled out a water pump before I got the engine, uh, the engine crane, and I I ripped a uh, water pump out of the engine block, and it's like you just you forgot to drain the coolant. This is gonna cost you fifty coin to pick up, really. All right, so we did we were able to repair the fans, okay, and the radiator, and all the clips.
Okay, there. So where's the fan? Fan housing, radiator beam. Okay. Coolant reservoir replace. should be all huh you're hungry I'm gonna go eat something right, can I put all the windows back in I think I did. Hey, you get like you should get like an extra horsepower per fuse, right? Is that how that works? Were we able to re repair the ECU? We were not. Each clip, extra horsepower. on the charger, gotta take that off. with window decals is that what it is so so not fuse box not fuses so each window decal would add a horsepower unfortunately they don't let you put window decals in this game for good reason then because i would fucking fill the entire car up with stickers Should do it for engine apartment and just for shits and gigs. Place everything inside. Not that. All right, that should be it. Move this car to suspension since now we're gonna have to realign it. 
Headlights should be good. Yep, see those are off like a son of a bitch. Move it to the dyno. See what happens. 759 is the target to beat. This will be funny. Done with this game. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Seven fifty nine to seven seventy eight just by replacing suspension parts. And the retail value is now 92196 for profit. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, let's go back to the uh, test track then. Let's see if it made a difference. I'm trying to get out from underneath me. Jesus Christ. Fuck! Just fucking... God, it didn't do shit. I think it got more squirrely. Now you get all the torques. That's where it is. See, now I know. Now I know. I have to do suspension to get them, them extra horsepowers. Oh, that's fucking funny. So the question still remains. All right. Keep or sell? Ugh, I don't want to have to fucking work on this car. All these un un unknown variables. I have to take this fucking car apart, aren't I? I did do suspension in the 300. This is the 300 got a complete 100% rebuild. This one didn't because I was contemplating keeping it. I was like, well, you know, it's suspension and what <laughs> it's not going to do that much. Oh, I will, man, that's an extra fuck that. Well, I was wrong. Seventy five thousand eight hundred twenty nine miles the kilometers that should go down, you know, considering that it's completely brand new. But yeah, ninety two thousand for profits. Bought it for eighty eight, it's gonna sell for one hundred and eighty, so keep it till I find another three hundred. Done. You know what? I want eye candy. We'll leave it there. I really don't want to work on this car right now. So let's go back to the junkyard. Let's see what we could find. Now, I don't know if there's other... I think there's a base model 300, too. I need to find the one with the supercharger in it. Uh... 
Nothing so far. Nothing over here. Nothing down there. Nothing over there. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think that's a naturally aspirated V8. I don't know if I could swap it out for a fucking supercharger or not. I need to walk away from that. Does the value fluctuate when you keep it? I don't think so. As long as the fucking or as long as the uh, parts don't degrade, I would imagine it stays the same. Speaking of three hundred. Speaking of three hundred. Is this one the supercharged version? Fuel rail, exhaust pipe, crankshaft exhaust, engine cover B, ABS, clip, 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 cats, spark, supercharger. There it is. This is a supercharged. That is a supercharged 300. All right, so we're definitely taking this. All right, but we still need something else to supplement the Viper. And I don't want to lose out on a shit ton of money, so we're going to need to do a project car. I'll just... Ooh. Is that a Nissan R34? Do my eyes deceive me? Granted, it's the in-game version. Is this, is this turbocharged? I'm not seeing a turbocharger. It is not turbocharged, but does it have an option for a turbo? It does have the option for the turbo. Hmm. The Barracuda. Or the skyline. Of course, we can always just leave and come back to another junkyard. Let's do that. Now, the value shouldn't fluctuate if you hold on to it. But as it sits right now, this is my car. You know what? I'm going to park it. That's sad for now. So I need the space. Plus, it's good eye candy. Let's go ahead and save the game. Put this. Go to the car wash first to get it cleaned up. And then we'll go back to the junkyard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I wish I had another barn find. I could potentially get a barn find if I finish this. So, just work on the jalopy. All right, so first and foremost... Well, I'm about to fucking pull the engine out, so I guess I'll just... Gotta fucking do this anyway. whatever reason he gives a shit about his windshield washer fluid being fresh. Dude, that car, it's... Oh my god, it looks terrible. But I definitely flipped that car for a pretty fucking penny, so I know that one, I could 
potentially make up everything that I lost in the Viper if I did if I um, hot swap that car. Determine that the fuel filter or the fuel system is good. Suspension is fucking crap. What do the bushings look like? The bushings look fine. No rust on that, so definitely gonna need a whole entire front wheel drive system. Brakes, rotors, and pads. Of course, rims will need to be replaced or repaired. Tires are probably fucking foobard. Oh yeah. She needs tires. She needs tires. Is that one of the fucking things listed on this car for problems? Tires, yeah, all four tires, all right. Uh, let's get the battery out and put it on a charge, even though it really doesn't need it. Go ahead and get the fucking front end suspension done, get the transmission pulled, and get the engine out. Yeah, pads are, are foobard. Go ahead and resurface all four rotors. You know what? Hold on before I do that. Let me get rid of my inventory. If I ever find another Viper. I'm gonna have to salvage all these parts at some point. My warehouse. I'm surprised there's no limit on how much fucking shit you can hold in your warehouse. Because, uh, definitely got quite a few parts in there. Alright, that's that. Your. The way that you look right now is just so disgusting. Voila! 90% of the rest gone. Ugh. Get off of my screen. Trunk, trunk. I don't think any of the windows are there. Like nothing, no windows at all. You might as well go away. Oh my god. We'll do this one. Let's go with this one. I did the other ones last time. Still gonna go with Smokies because fuck regular. Uh, that looks better. We'll do that one. Then stock body, doors, window four doors, fenders. Fender, mirrors, door, glass, door, glass, glass, trunk, more glass. All right. Or at least we can get you looking somewhat decent. Don't want customers getting scared off. have all four tires it does have all four tires it's factory paint on this thing Ugh, silver is that pearl white 
Uh, let's redo the murder build. You're still a piece of crap, but you don't like a, like an entire piece of crap. specifically says so i don't think i'm gonna do anything with fucking the rest of the suspension on this car i do however need to increase the horsepower by 15 percent matt black oh everybody said matt black the 20s on it all right matt black it is the chat has said thus it shall be done some twenties. I wonder what size tires it does have on it. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me finish this first. One thing at a time. I got a one-track mind right now. We'll get back to that. So that needs to go. Get the... Like I, I don't think I need to do the rotors, but I'm going to do the rotors. So filters needs to be replaced. Fuel filter needs to be replaced. Only because that's going to drive me nuts. For no other reason. One singular rusty bolt. No, says I. Rear suspension off. I don't think I can repair rims yet. Fine on that. Oh, every rear end looks fine on this. So let's leave that the way it is for now. Twenty to the jalopy. Oh god. Oh god. That's that's fucking awful. Oh no no no! I need to do the transmission. I got the training. I gotta get the training out. Can't pull it out with the transmission in. Woo woo. Why so far back? Where's the starter? There you are. What? Come on. Give me a break. Every other car I could do it from underneath. Guarantee you plugs and wires are gonna need to be replaced. This fucking thing out of here. That's what I should do. I should leave the engine alone completely and just do a complete suspension redo. And the car would probably get an extra 20 horsepower out of it and get my 20%. Uh, unfortunately, there's a checklist I have to check off. Really? Never had to remove the exhaust on the other ones. Oh, that's fucking dumb. All right. Guess none of the other fucking exhausts use C clamps or use clamps. Bro, 
Really? I take the manifold off. Come on. It's so dumb. Holy fucking bolts, Batman. Jesus Christ. Now can I pull it out? Oh, fuck. Jesus. It doesn't even go down. It goes up. There. Front exhaust. Gone. Yeah, Isaac, appreciate you coming out, man. You have a good night, sir. You have a good night. All right. Anything else on this? Looks like Serpentine's going to have to get replaced. Both of these are. Serpentine sucks. That one sucks. I'm gonna avoid taking the timing cover off. I'm probably gonna have to though. To check underneath. Fuel filter needs to come out. Ooh, fucking cam is disgusting. Good thing I checked the fucking belt tensioner shit. This. Needs to be replaced. Plugs are bad, so we're gonna need four new plugs. Crank's fine. Crank looks good. One singular shit bolt. Pretty sure this also needs... Pretty sure this needs to be at least a 15 20% increase. Test increase tuning of car by 10 to 15%. Wonder if I can get away with just doing the fuel. Just to see if it's okay. Why we look fine? I think that's it for engine problems.
Why? He's in the other server. He's pretty adamant about trying to play over there. Yeah. And fucking the place is in fifteen percent. Two, three, four. One, two. Wires, ancient coil. That should be the 15%.
175, 70 R13. 175, 70 R13. 5 Azoth? I don't know.
right, guys. That's going to do it for me for tonight. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed today's content. If you did, likes, follows, comments are always greatly appreciated. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. I don't think we have anything pressing going on, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off and just tilt around for a little bit and try to find another car to build. Um, so, yeah. Take it easy, guys.